it's the constant peeing really that gets to you. Like I'm not just talking tinkling, I'm talking like a nice frothy rope of just liquid coming out of my body. Anyways, Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. I do have to preface all this by saying that this video is intended for entertainment purposes only, so please keep that in mind. What I am suggesting is that everybody should go to their doctor at least once a year for their annual checkup, physical, all that good stuff. Make sure you listen to your doctor's advice because your doctor knows way more than I do. Okay, so today is recapping day four of being on a water fast, and oh my god, I cannot stop peeing. <laughs> for every liter of water that I drink every hour on the hour, oh my god, I am probably peeing just as much, and it's a flood of just clear urine. <laughs> I think that what I attribute that to is maybe because my kidneys are cleaner, so the water's just going right through. Anyways, so I went to sleep last night. As usual, everything was fine. Went to sleep around midnight or so. I woke up at 5 a.m. like I usually do the first wake up. Testosterone raging. That production is just going into overdrive. I think the fasting is helping with the testosterone production. Definitely doing its job. Okay, so went back to sleep. Then about another three hours later, around 8 o'clock in the morning or so, is when I woke up. Woke up. I had so much energy, I was ready to run a mile. Like if I had to do some kind of a cross country race, probably now would be the time I'd wanna do it because I had so much energy this morning. I did go uh, like a half of a bowel movement, I'd say. It was more like a liquidy number two. Pretty clean actually, it didn't have any smell to it. I think it was just maybe something residual that was inside of my intestine, who knows. But anyways, that came out of me. It was it was pretty much like mostly water at that point. Could have been the water that I drank uh, throughout the night. Who knows? Anyways, I weighed myself. I did lose another, give or take about a pound and a half. I did lose another 0.7% body fat. I think that seems to be the new normal now. Uh, sadly, again, I did lose another 0.7% of muscle mass. So that's kind of the bad news of doing the fast, I guess. Anyways, I proceeded to drink my first water of the day, first liter of water with that half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, or a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, sorry, and a half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt for the electrolytes, etc. The apple cider vinegar is for the electrolytes. The salt is basically for to prevent dehydration or whatever. And then the war of peeing started, basically. I would say somewhere around 12 o'clock, I took a walk around the park. I immediately had to go pee. Oh my God, it was like I couldn't keep it inside of me. Energy level was very, very high. I noticed, uh, I think I've just tapped into like the hidden jet fuel that's been inside of me this entire time. All the stored body fat I think is melting away as a result of the fasting, which is great news. And I'm basically just literally peeing it all out. So thank God my urine is clear. It looks healthy. It's pretty uh, like frothy. <laughs> like it's coming out of me like a fire hose pretty much. So most of the rest of the day up until about 6 p.m. was like the usual norm, whatever. Uh, definitely a lot more energy, definitely a lot more zip, a lot more vibe. So I look forward to that. One thing I noticed around 6 p.m., another good benefit was uh, my vision for some reason got a little slightly clearer. Like I could actually see small little finite little details and things. So I don't know if that's part of the repairing process of the fasting, probably it is, but that was a good benefit or side effect. It's now around 8 p.m. or so, and I probably have to go pee again. I do apologize, I wanna keep this video short and sweet. But anyways, you get the idea. I've been drinking a, a full liter of water every single hour on the hour since I woke up. I'll probably do that until bedtime. Like I said, energy levels through the roof. We'll see how I, <laughs> we'll see how I get to sleep tonight, let alone go to sleep. Anyways, down there in the description there down below, there is a link to my Facebook page. That's Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. Make sure you visit that page, subscribe and like on there. That really helps me a lot. Also here on YouTube, I'm really doing a push to get more subscribers. So definitely tell a friend, phone a friend, tell everybody to watch my channel and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. But the subscribe button is over here somewhere, I think. There's a like button over here. So make sure you please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way I can get uh, you know, just a little extra cheer to my day, a little zip and a pep. 
Also, last thing, down there in the description there down below, there is a link to some cool products. You might want to check those out. I recently updated a lot of those, so a lot of the old links are gone. There's some new links in there, some fresh new stuff. So go ahead and check that out. Anyways, I'm Cooter Malloy, peeing my way <laughs> through the day and the night. Day four recap of this ultra water fast that I'm doing. And I will catch you all tomorrow for the next update.